the uh, the initial verse. Uh, we ask someone who has walked the path. That is because um, we are certain that the Buddha person will have guided us because the Buddha attained um, enlightenment. So he has seen through all the way to the door of Buddhahood. So therefore, we are certain and the Buddha has faith that he has found the way. And um, that is because the Buddha has already realized the ocean of awakened wisdom. So we need to understand what is meaning by awaken. And just as wisdom, it's awakened wisdom. And so you take note of these two words. Um, and um, anyway, I could not have much time to explain this, but um, just remember this is awakened wisdom. And this word awakened will come repeatedly quite often. It's peaceful and it is with no hindrances. And um, the um, and this is the part that about getting rid of all the uncrustation and the obscuration of a head of uh, one person uh, to be able to see the truth. So, um, so therefore, and all this, uh, what it's trying to say the initial verse is to uh, be guided by, uh, you remember, I think I said um, yesterday or day before, um, you want to engage in the flawless study, which I call the true study, you need to have a true teacher. And this is what it is. A true teacher is someone who has walked the path all the way. So that when we are, have faith um, in the path and we will be focused to walk the path diligently. And here, um, Master's talk about the power of realization, even for the hearers, um, he can hear one and realize 10, and Pachaka Buddhas can realize, hear one and realize a thousand. So therefore, if we are on the Bodhisattva path, you could to learn a lot much more than, than this. And we need to do that in perfection. And that is what the, infinite wisdom is and the infinite realization of the universe. So and the truth of suffering, and, um, and obviously that is in the first vehicle. And why is that the case? Because the Buddha said um, that um, it's easy for people to recognize suffering. So they find the first sermon uh, he taught at Adityar Park um, as the truth of suffering. So people can easily relate to suffering and release from suffering because people want to be happy. They believe I'm happy. They want to be happy. They need to release from suffering. So that's how um, why the truth of suffering came out as the first sermon. So, but then if we wait till the fruit of suffering arise at the end of the time when upon on our deathbed is already too late. So in this lifetime, we have and whatever that we have in the past we will repay them. Whatever lessons that come upon us, we have to learn from our life. So we need, if we do that, if we, if we make peace and accept the adversities calmly, they come to our life and all of us have different carbon blueprints, then we will be at ease. And this is what our life becomings um, is about. So the lessons learned. But the Buddha came to this world to teach us how to engage in spiritual practice by slowly leading us the path of uh, pro progression in a spiritual journey is gradual. And he lead us to the tree of, and enter the path to awakening. And this is again, um, that word here, awakening wisdom is bring the awakening. Awakening is actually attaining enlightenment. And that is what um, the Buddha means. The word Buddha means an awakened one. So the spiritual practice can uh, actually be created in our daily living and so be mindful of daily living. And this is to learn from our life becomings, okay, to accept so that your life will be at ease. And this is where you make peace. If your life, you make peace with everybody and you're being harmonious and peaceful and no longer entangled with all the um, um, uh, skandhas that befall us. So on contemplation very quickly. A becoming, which is what I mentioned earlier, the light becoming, is an encounter of a moment that triggers your heart and mind where ordinary beings react. And that is because of habitual tendencies. So even when one knows the Dharma, but one, does, when one doesn't practice it, it will react. But then a practitioner, one who practices it, will respond. And that respond, they respond in the know and respond in accord with the Dharma. But the awakened ones receive. And that's why. Um, in, in a story about the Buddha, when someone came in and collected 500 tears of gold, um, we just re received, and that is the stillness that what the awakened one is. 
walk then the path to accept the becoming sevenfold before you with calmness, gentleness, kindness, cheerfulness, mercy, and peacefulness. And that is what being at ease is about, these char six characteristics. What is characteristics, characteristics enable you to receive the higher learnings of the, of the becomings? So this characteristics is only a tool, it's not an end. It's only a tool, a mean for you to realize the higher learnings. Then you can elevate your realization into higher knowing. So on relationship, advance in your practice with the wholesome power of fearlessness in overcoming all your afflictions. There is nothing you are not courageous and strong enough for you to lose. So you're going to lose and let go all your afflictions. So therefore, be in a losing streak. Okay, Kanan, and brothers and sisters, that's yeah. all I have. Thank you. Kanan, Sorry, I've got to rush so much. Yeah, brother, <laughs> yes, we have to have yeah, time to accept. Yeah. yeah, quickly take a quick photo. Please on your video, everyone. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, yes, uh, take a quick group photo of uh, all of us. Uh, so much, uh, Brother Chin, for your uh, Kanan, really, yeah, wondrous, wondrous yeah. contemplation. Yes, leading us, <laughs> guiding us, guiding us, and leading us all. For mountain way. guide. <laughs> yeah, perfect guy. That's why he has to go and do qigong so he get fitter and fitter. Okay. <laughs> so why yoga, yoga today? Yoga. <laughs> yoga today. Wow. Okay. Very okay. myriad practice. Okay. 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 Is it done? Okay. Uh, myriad practice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Next, uh, can we have uh, Brother Chu Wei to share? Share. Brother Chu Wei, morning. Morning. Brother Robert, Morning. brothers and sisters, uh, today just a uh, very brief that uh, I feel that uh, masters uh, can tell a really amazing uh, story uh, that uh, we can visualize the beautiful scenery, we can see the uh, characters and we can feel the dangers and the fear in her adventure. So I almost think that uh, every parent who wishes to tell the bedtime story to our child should learn from master. The lesson learned uh, today is on Gan Yuan. Uh, whether we willingly accept the life becoming, whether in relationship, in life condition, uh, we are in. Uh, the Da Ba Zhe, which uh, master teach us, is the truth of our wisdom because uh, actually the discount can be much more than 20%. Uh, it can be 50% or more, all depending on the degree of uh, letting go and the full acceptance. That's all my sharing, Kanan. Yeah, Kanan, uh, so much, uh, yeah, Brother Tsubay. Yeah, indeed, uh, you must uh, don't even need a photographer or videographer. I think by just listening, uh, you can feel we yeah, are at the, the mountains, uh, walking the, the treacherous part uh, together with Master. Yeah, thank you so much, Brother Tsubay. Okay, next, can we have uh, Brother Chris to share? Brother Chris, morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning. morning. Yeah, uh, well, Sister Carping's uh, sharing was uh, well, so, uh, so, uh, Complete huh? and uh, amazing. So uh, nothing much for me to say except that uh, Buddha has already given us a guarantee, right? He's been there before, and uh, now it's all up to us actually uh, to make that uh, decision to uh, to just uh, you know practice and follow the the, the clearly shown right and and. What else is there to to say, you know? But the thing is that uh, we we are as ordinary beings, even though it's shown to us so clearly, right? And the path is so well paved, we still dilly dally along the way, you know, looking at things and then get distraction, right? So we are not focused and we are not uh, usually not very disciplined or diligent. So, uh, especially me. Uh, so, I need a lot of uh, people to uh, 
to uh, you know encourage and uh, you know uh, now and then uh, you know give a, a pat on the back and say that no you have to keep going huh? it's easy come I walk with you you know a lot of people are like that so uh, we need uh, benefactors and hopefully that uh, you know as a group we can move uh, together huh? yeah. Can I, can I so much, brother Chris? Yes, there's just too much distractions. That's why I think uh, we need uh, this platform to inspire each other, yeah, to guide each other. Yeah, can I so much, brother Chris? Okay, next, can we have uh, Sister Suisan to share with us? Morning, Amitofo, Sister Suisan. Uh, Amitofo. Uh, good, mo good morning, brothers and sisters. Morning. Uh, today, uh, Story by Master into the jungle uh, or mountain mountain trekking uh, So very very interesting. But um, so actually Master they are so so brave uh, just yeah. follow innocently follow uh, an unknown person to uh, go up the uh for the mountain trekking. So um so uh actually. Uh, this story so so imprinted into me that now fortunately that um we follow the right master in uh, uh showing us the way of the Bodhisatt Bodhisattva path. Uh, without master showing us the proper way, uh, actually uh we also uh, groping in the dark. Actually, for me um the first uh how I say I I met uh Suti only at the year at the age of forty, so. Before that, no, I've been going to a lot of a cultivation place. Uh. Of course, every cultivation place has his um stress, uh, has his goodness uh, in um in in uh, instilling in me the Buddhism, but uh it, but it's very shallow because we don't understand what they are talking about. Either it's need um with um what call it chanting or you know, because mainly because it's Terawada, so I also do not understand what they are talking about. Uh, no, so but um, uh, but only in Suzy that I truly found my calling. Uh, my calling that um, what is Buddhism and how how uh step by step uh how Buddhism uh is being now uh, being practiced in my daily life. And I keep telling, you know, it's a practice, ma. It's a practice. And I if I look back and say, wow, it's amazing. Uh, this. 13 years or so. it's quite amazing like that hey, you look back or how you how you slowly uh strengthen yourself and then um uh, and change uh, you know but this change is never overnight uh. change is uh it takes over years ultimately you still have to be the ultimate is still you have to practice it so i would like to cite some example but i it's not but this one is not to um not to downgrade anybody, but I feel that in Tsuji it's not that uh you talk about it, oh I'm Tsuji, and so if you don't really uh practice it and being you know joining activities, I, I think it's very difficult to cultivate because you uh you always even if you're at the top and everybody glorify you, but actually you only by name is Tsuji, but then you didn't really practice it unless you really um go to the ground and uh, work it out. Then only you can change yourself. So in Suji that you really have to, not even like listening to Dharma also, you don't go and practice it also, it comes to zero again. Uh, you know, so like uh, what uh, Master said that, yen so, uh. Actually, this is not easy because when you face adversity, uh, either you, you take it on and accept it that, oh, it's part of my karma. Okay, let it work it out and then let it pass. And let the good one uh, replace the, the evil. So, uh, actually, it, it take uh, uh, support from all uh, fatinga, um, all the dharma, uh, brother and sisters and uh, dharma friends to help us to go through this path. Uh, and then eventually, you can see brightness. Ah, uh, like master said, like, then go in the jungle. Then, hey, after you can see brightness, you feel so happy. But the journey, I think, is. At times, it's a journey that is so tough because as you start walking, uh, you, you can see only why well, yeah, are you still in the jungle because it may take one year, two years. I think I only could, could see brightness only after four four years, uh, four years because within 
in between, uh, wow, it's really like it's still in the darkness. And then some more, I have a lot of conflict with other brothers and sisters. Uh. Wow, that, is, uh, was, uh, that was a tough one. Uh. But fortunately, uh, I also give myself that uh, yo, I got this tahan lasa uh, to, to go through. Because I have comments by people who say, hey, Suisa, I'm very surprised. Uh, you can still stay on in Suti. Uh. I thought you had gone, long gone already, like, knowing your character. Uh. I said, yeah, la, yeah, la. I said, fortunately, I still have a lot of good brother and sister to keep me, to keep me going. Kanan, how many talk for? Yeah, Kanan, thank you so much, uh, Sir Suisang. Yeah, always ever ready and heavy.